Well, it's uh, morning of day four. Rained all night. It's gonna rain all day. Flow was down to about 40. High for today is about 40. So this is about as warm as it's gonna get. <laughs> I've got a little bit of a breakfast from the hammock going on. I've got my coffee. I've got the uh, little coffee filter that I brought. The GSI one. Got some oatmeal. That's what I'm gonna be doing. Looking forward to walking in the rain all day. Awesome. But it's the last day. A little over 18 miles to get out of here. And then we're gonna be done. So it's day four, and we are headed out. Again, today there's not gonna be the uh, the good audio. I'm gonna be doing just this, uh, the GoPro. So, a little bit, a little bit sad this morning. Instead of four, now there's three. Uh, you know, Meerkat, yesterday was dealing with some pretty bad IT band issues, a lot of pain. And so today he made the call to uh, walk the road out a little bit shorter back to the truck. And we'll meet him there. So uh, I think he made the right decision. You know, better to better to take the easier easier route and and be safe than to put yourself in in harm's way, get out here and get stranded, not being able to make it out. So if you ever find yourself in that situation, it's always good to make that call early. Make it before you're in the position where you can't get out. So you know, it's been a a rainy rainy night, rainy morning supposed to rain pretty much all day and this is what happened the last couple days as well 
a lot of people will avoid these types of trips and kind of pack it up and just not come out. Don't do that. And get out here, experience this. You know, it may suck for a moment, but in the end, these are the ones that the, the big memories come from. And it doesn't suck the entire time you're out. You know, you'll have moments to suck, but then you have those, those moments of fun. I mean, yesterday it was pouring. There was a, a river running down the damn trail and we were <laughs> jumping through it. It was a lot of fun. I, I think that was one of the things we're all gonna remember from this trip. So get out there and do it. Don't wait for those perfect days. Perfect days don't bring quite the memories. So every time I'm out in the woods and I see these different mosses, these specific ones here uh, that you see here, it brings me back and reminds me of my childhood in upstate New York. Uh, we used to go out in the woods behind my house uh, near the Adirondack State Park and harvest some of these, these mosses for my mom to make Christmas wreaths with. And so as I walk through here and I see these, uh, it brings me back to that. Yeah, those rocks are the way to go. one that Jason's been warning me about, Frozen's been warning me about all day and since yesterday. Supposedly at this point we're getting a little bit of a, a flat here and then it starts the last uh, six, six of these last eight miles are probably the roughest, most steep miles of the entire trail. So day four while we're all tired, got our bumps and bruises and worn out, that's when we hit it. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it right. So let's go. I had to swap out batteries and cameras and it's been a steep downhill, you can see behind me. Uh, come down for a while now. I'm really glad Meerkat didn't try and attempt this. With, uh, with IT band issues, this would have just been agony. Uh, and this isn't the last hill, I think we've still got two more big downhills to go, a couple of big uphills to go. So I'm going to keep going and uh, take you guys along with me. Let's do it!
pretty awesome area right here. Got some good switchbacks. Nice roaring river. And this bridge. Frozen out there. Recording. I think so. Awesome. For about the past, I don't know, 20 minutes or so, we've been on this climb. Uh, come up quite a ways because we were way down in the, the valley down there. And we've come up out. Uh, still some to go. But what I like to do on these climbs is get myself into a step and breathing rhythm. And just stick to that rhythm and just uh, go with it. it be, to me, it's kind of a rhythm that I can hold nearly all day long. Um, so I just find that rhythm, get into it, and hold it. I'm headed downhill again, so I had to bundle back up a little bit because it is cold and windy out here. And that combination just will take it out of you. Plus, you know, I wanted to stop towards the top to uh, let Frozen and Gary catch up. But right now, my feet have been soaked for two days. Uh, I mean, they dried out last night at camp, but inside of my shoes, they've been wet now for two straight days. And every time I stop, when I get going again, they start kind of throbbing. So I don't wanna, I don't wanna deal with that. I'd rather just keep going at a little bit slower pace, see if they catch up. If not, well, we're only about four miles from the end of this trail from a complete through hike. So, uh, he'll catch me there. So Frozen did get a call from Meerkat and Meerkat did make it out and he's waiting for us at Ohio Pile down at the, uh, the parking lot. Well, actually he's in the restaurant across from the parking lot having something to eat and charging his phone. A little jealous of that right now. I'm cold, I'm wet, and I would like some real food. But we'll get that soon enough. So less than uh, less than three miles to go. I'm here at a little little overlook right here. Uh, you know the weather's not too bad, so you do still get a little bit of a view out there, which is kind of nice. Got the river down there and the hills out in the distance. Uh, makes for a pretty cool, pretty cool setting. Uh, I like it. But I am really cold. I know Frozen wanted me to wait for him and Gary somewhere around here. I don't know if this is the overlook he wanted me to stay at or not. But that wind is whipping. I was sweaty coming up one of those climbs. I'm just cold. I think staying here would just be a recipe for hypothermia. So you have to think about those things while you're out. Uh, you know, try and keep yourself from sweating if possible. You know, and if it does happen, keep yourself moving to keep yourself warm. So you don't get into a situation that's tough to get out of. With less than three miles to go, I think I'm just going to push on, and uh, we'll see those guys towards the end. So I'm coming down through here. I think that I've actually found the overlook. So I think this is the uh, the overlook that Frozen likes to come out onto. And I think he's used it in the start of a couple of his, uh, his Laurel Highlands hiking trail through hikes. But it is really windy and really cold, so I'm going to just keep my time here really short. Well, looks like we are one, one mile left. We will have done this. The trail has looked like most of the day. It's more stream than actual trail. But, on the positive side, Right at the bottom of this hill is trail mile marker zero. Whoa, I almost caught that. That would have been good. Oh man, it's slick, really slick. So this is what we've been dealing with all day, but our dealing with it is coming to an end. <laughs> because that's, that's zero. Oh, mile marker zero, guys. Well, that's a through hike. 
Both of us almost landed up on our asses here at the end, but we did it. I don't think anyone fell this whole time. No. Even I'm with all, out. even with all this wet, I don't think anybody yeah, hit the ground. Somehow, <laughs> I almost did right there. I don't know how oh, I stayed up. I came pretty close too. Yeah. How you doing, bud? What about the uh, the dog story? I want to hear the. Uh, like mile six or so. This dog came charging out of this lady's yard. Yeah. And she came running out behind his dog. It was a mean looking dog really? too. I'm trying to like bite it off of my pole. Oh stuff. my god. Yeah, he was trying to bite oh my, my pole. I thought wow. for sure I was gonna have to start beating this dog. Wow. <laughs> what kind of dog was it? You know? Like some black lab. Wow. Rottweiler, pit bull, something. Yeah. Uh, it was mean looking. Mm. Wow. Huh. That sucks. Yeah. I'm still waiting on Gary. So now you got to hey guys, we just uh, wrapped up this this trip got in the 70 miles in four days on the laurel highlands hiking trail it was a wet one last couple days were pretty wet and uh you know i think it added to it today the end of the day the last five miles were were cold for me i mean you can see it's it's still coming down out here uh but this is what we've been dealing with all day today is the rain it's a cold rain the wind is out it's only in the 40s so it really makes for a a rough rough day to to kind of get through it but we did we got through it and uh i'm proud of everybody who who went with us and did a great job hung together and uh had some fun so hey guys we're gonna go grab something to eat first i'm gonna dry off put on some dry clothes i've got them in alex's truck then we're gonna go grab something to eat maybe a beer i'll see you guys down the trail thanks for watching